what are your goals in car audio? Like, what are the goals that you can set and actually um, accomplish? Uh, there's a lot of ways people can see car audio as a uh, as an outlet for fun, or as a competition, or even as business, or well, I guess business would be livelihood, so it's kind of the same thing there. But, you know, one thing that I hate is, you know, there's many ways to enjoy car audio, but within the car audio community, if people don't see the same goal as you, they tend to put you down or talk shit or this or that. If you're not on the same goal path as them, sorry, I'm at work, so I'm just keeping an eye on the front door. You know, so, for example, if there is one person who is majorly into demos and then there's another person who's majorly into competition the competition guy is going to be really pushing that one dude to look at his build in a way that he doesn't look at it he looks at it as something fun to bring to shows or to, to share with friends to to build on the weekends and the competition guy sees it as something that he can run around to different shows collect points hang out for an hour and go to the next one it's there's no sense in trying to make someone see it through your eyes, at least in my point of view. Uh, if you don't see the way I want to enjoy my Suburban or my truck or my builds, if, if you don't see it the same way I do, then you see it a different way. And and, and you're not going to sell me on an, an, on an idea. I don't really care to sell you on an idea because I'm secure in how we do things over here on Bang & Bros. Um, one of the main things that I get hit with a lot is uh, is competition stuff. And none of our guys, none of the guys are tickled to do competition stuff. None of our guys get a hard on for decibels. None of our guys get a hard on for any of that. I think that the main thing is, at least for me and kind of the example that I set forth with my with my bros, is that the point is, 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 is we enjoy music and we enjoy sharing our, our music with people. And the louder we can get it, man, yeah, the better, the more fun, the better experience inside the demo, less rattles. It looks nice. It, it, you're, you're, you're impressed. It's something that you can follow online and then actually see it in person every once and again. So it's, hence none of those things I said, running a lane. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's all beauty in the eye of the beholder here. So, you know, for a closer personal example, my Suburban, the reason why I chose to go with what I chose for a no wall, for the 615s, for this, for that. Well, I was inspired, I guess, for years and years by Steve Mead and how he was able to uh, go no wall and just be an absolute badass and force and you sure he could have done a wall at any point in time, and I've done a wall, and I've done walls in the past, but I just wanted that bourbon to have all those windows open, and you could peek in there and see subs flexing, and have back seats, and just all that kind of stuff. And also another thing is, is eventually it can't happen right now, but eventually I'd like to put a few thousand dollars into the suburban suspension to actually bag it, because I'm a big fan of of, of slam trucks. And if I were to have done a wall, say a steel cage wall now, then it wouldn't have worked out very well for me whenever I go down to bag it and chop my frame because then I would have to alter the speaker box. So this route, we go no wall for a little bit longer. And, you know, I, I enjoy the no wall. Like I said, I'm inspired by SMD. And later later down the line, when the Suburban can do another rebuild, then, you know, maybe maybe it'll be in the cards to do some uh, suspension work to lower it. And then once the bottom is tubbed out for, you know, rims in the back, um, then I'll know exactly what airspace I'm actually working with, not build a big build and then you got to chop it up and then build a big build. I don't know. No wall's cool, man. It shit slaps. And, uh, you know, it's cool. Another thing is, is I like making content for, I like making content. So, you know, some people, their only release for car audio is, is, uh, I'm taking it to a show this weekend. Well, for me, I made 
X amount of pieces of content all week long. And so at the end of the week, I'm satisfied. I'm like, wow, enough people have seen my build, enough people have, you know, this or that, I've shown it off, what's next? I'm always what's next. Cause um, I had got so many things that uh, can be done to the Suburban and so many companies knocking on the door and just saying like, what's up, what's up, you know? So, <sighs> but I can say that without ever, without ever, um, running the Suburban into any lanes, I'm pretty happy with it. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong. I mean, yeah, there's always something else I can do. And there's nothing wrong with knowing your decibel uh, thing, knowing your decibel limit so that you can just keep on building upon that. But uh, as far as, it, it, it can be something that really drives you crazy. I've seen it happen to other people over the years and you know, whatever. I've never been a competition guy. I've always been a demo guy. Always, always, always. I've only been in a few different situations where I've actually been metered, I think like three times in my entire life. And I've been in a car radio for over 15 years. So, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to do that to enjoy car audio. You can do so many other things. Uh, I love music. So music, I'm always jamming music. I like my music at concert levels. There you go. You come sit in my Suburban, you're gonna to listen to the music that I choose and you're gonna to listen to my concert. And that's kind of how I feel. And I love to share that with other people. I love to share that with friends. I love to build those things with friends. And I love to teach my friends uh, things that I've learned. And then now I can pass it on to uh, my friend Micah or even Hunter who's, who's barely younger than me, but he's still learning. Micah's younger and he's learning. And hey, if they have the interest to learn and they wanna hang out, by all means, I'll teach you whatever I can. Anyway, that was just a little ramble. Today is Monday. I had to go work at one of the at my job. So, but I was wearing my I, wear, I like to wear uh, comic style shirts to work because it sparks up conversation with customers really well and it builds a rapport, for, you know, fairly. So, rocking Star Wars. Uh, <laughs> I love uh, just talking about movies and stuff. So, anyway, that was just a, a little topic that I wanted to hit on, and uh, yeah. So, you know, when you see someone build their system, don't automatically think that they have the same exact goals as you. Why don't you take the time to dive in and see what their goals are and then, you know, root, root, root them on as you see fit. I have no problem with anybody doing competition stuff. I will root you till the end of the day. It's just not for me. So don't push me to do it. And if you don't want to do demo stuff, I ain't going to push you to do it. But if you, if you feel so inclined, enjoy the suburban through videos or we catch each other at a meet or something like that you know, shit shout out but anyway there's a little heart to heart all love to you guys and uh stay strong stay banging bro